With Song 1, you can easily create and share your own songs, or import and auto-format content, from a variety of sources, including Apple's Safari browser. Simply mark the desired text section. Copy it to your device's clipboard. And select Import Clipboard from Song 1's Import menu. An imported song can easily be customized. Open the Song Info panel, and enter a song title, as well as a subtitle which is often used to feature the artist's name. To customize a section label, position the cursor, and tap on the tag icon. Then make the appropriate selection, from the section label menu. Each label has an abbreviation code, which can be typed into the song editor, to add a new section label to the current line. If you wish to reposition a chord symbol, place the cursor at the desired position, and tap on the appropriate chord repositioning button. Song 1 can accurately determine the key of an imported song by analyzing its diatonic chords. You can quickly transpose a song, and auto-update all of its chord diagrams, by selecting a different key with the transposition wheel. Go two steps counterclockwise, to select a key that is two half steps lower than the original key. Customize the format of the chord diagrams, with the tuning field, by entering the pitch of each string of your instrument. Use Song 1's built-in chromatic tuner, to make sure that the strings of your instrument are in perfect pitch. Song 1 will automatically update the chord chart, when you specify a capo position. Select Use Key Transposition, to change the chord symbols to indicate the chord shapes that need to be played when a capo is used. Or activate Song 1's powerful virtual capo, to generate a proper chord chart without changing the chord symbols of the song. You can add an audio backing track to play along with. Or practice the song with a metronome. Set the tempo by tapping repeatedly on the tempo button, or by typing it directly into the tempo field. Start and stop the metronome, by tapping on its icon. Or enable an option in Song 1's settings to start the metronome automatically, whenever the play mode is active. Customize the sound of the metronome by making a selection from a pop-up menu. Set the scrolling speed of the play mode, by entering the song's duration, and begin the playback of the song, by using the play button of the song info panel, or the play button above your library. Song 1 Auto generates a smart scroll chord chart, which can be hidden if not needed, when playback is paused. You may prefer to remove the chord diagrams in the header of the song instead, since they quickly scroll out of view. To do so, exit the play mode. Position the cursor, and select Remove from the section pop-up menu. Alternatively, you can place the cursor at the end of the chord chart block, and use the Delete key of your keyboard. Go to Song 1 settings, and disable the option to add chord diagrams to imported songs. The Smart Scroll Chord Chart will be available independently of this setting, whenever the play mode is active. Open the Song Info panel, and access the theme settings, to customize the layout of the song further. Select a custom font and increase its size, to allocate less space for the chord symbols. 
specify the line spacing and change the colors to your liking. Hide the theme panel and tap on the header icon next to the subtitle field to display a portion of a PDF or an image file underneath the song subtitle. Crop the selected image to size and add it to the song by tapping on the checkmark icon. A slider allows you to easily adjust the zoom level of the placed image. To highlight certain sections, tab on the three dots in the main toolbar to access a variety of annotation tools. Song 1 automatically adjusts the colors of the added image to the dark mode setting of the operating system. Song 1 also supports the use of guitar tabs to transcribe the instrumental sections of a song. Specify the string tuning at the beginning of each string followed by a vertical line. This will enable Song 1 to auto-transpose the tabs when you change the key of the song. Use hyphens to draw the strings and add numbers to indicate the fretboard positions of chords and melodies. To add chord symbols to the top line of a tab, select the chord with the chord matrix. Tap on the guitar pick icon to add the selected chord to the song. You can also have Song 1 suggest chord symbols for you by selecting the notes on the virtual fretboard. Tap on the desired chord symbol to select it and add it to the song at the current cursor position. If you're using a MIDI keyboard, you can connect it via Bluetooth MIDI and open Song 1's virtual keyboard to auto-generate chord symbols while you play. Song 1 is also able to send MIDI commands to external devices. Open the MIDI panel and tap on the plus sign to add MIDI note events, control changes, program changes or more advanced system exclusive messages to a song. A MIDI event can either be sent automatically when a song opens or can be assigned a position in the MIDI queue to be executed at a specific time during a live performance via Song 1's timeline. You can also assign a MIDI trigger to a song to remote control the playback with an external MIDI controller or a sequencer. All your song edits are automatically synced to the cloud. Make sure to only edit a song on one device at a time and close the app on all other devices. This allows Song 1 to fetch the latest changes from the cloud when the app is reopened. To close Song 1 on Mac OS, you can either quit the app or minimize Song 1's application window to reopen it at a later time via the dock. To close Song 1 on iOS, press the home button of your device or swipe the screen upwards from the bottom edge to return to the home screen. When pushing the app into the background, avoid swiping Song 1's minimized window upwards. This would force the app to quit immediately. Access the built-in help section and consult an easy-to-follow comprehensive user guide to learn more about a specific feature or make a selection from the Learn How To submenu options. For step-by-step -step instructions on how a specific feature can be accessed, so you can get the most out of Song 1 in the least amount of time.